I'm about to show you a factoring shortcut that you need to see to believe. Now, if you've ever tried factoring a trinomial like this, where the value of the coefficient in front of the squared term is not equal to one, your solution probably looked a little something like this. We'll start this shortcut the same way as most factoring strategies. We'll find two numbers that add to get the middle term, including the sign. But we also want those two numbers to multiply to get whatever this number times this number is. So we want two numbers that add to get negative 12 while also multiplying to get 20. Now you can play around with different combinations of numbers for a while, but in the end, negative two and negative 10 are gonna be the only numbers that satisfy those two conditions. Here's where things get weird. Err. We're gonna take those two numbers that we just found and we're gonna divide it by the coefficient in front of the squared term. In this case, that looks something like this. We're gonna reduce these fractions to lowest terms to get something like this. Then you're gonna take whatever hand you're not holding your pencil with and hit each fraction from the left. That causes the numerator and its sign to fall next to the denominator. Put an X next to the first terms, include your brackets, factored. 